Yeah, that, yeah, that hurt a lot. Yeah, you could have actually used Logan too, because uh, Rock is actually weak to fighting type moves too. Oh, okay. So you might want to try that next time you run across one, so you don't, you know, <laughs> okay, murder sure. it in one hit. <laughs> What's this? A TM09 bullet seed. Mm-hmm. What's that do? Um, pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You shoot seeds like bullets. Oh, I should have tried to capture that thing. Yeah. Go out. Well. You like Konami games? <laughs> what the fuck? Psycho Mantis? Oh God. You know when he reads your memory card? Yeah. If if you ha if you have enough Konami games on it for him to, like, to recognize, he will not only mention what games you have, he will even comment on like genres you like. Huh, that's interesting. Like, like I had like Vandal Hearts and Sweet Code at the same time. He's like, "You like role-playing games?" <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I, and I had like, a, I had like a shitload of Konami just by coincidence at the time. So he commented that I seemed to like Konami in general. That that's kind of funny. Huh? Became, became this running joke with some of my friends for a while. After. I was like, "You like Sweet Code then?" <laughs> this is uh, this is not a very good psycho man. Oh, suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Uh oh, you about to get arrested. Bug catcher Kent would like to battle. Weedle. Oh, I have a bird type with some flying stuff. Or not a bird type, a, fly a bird with some flying type stuff. Yes. Yeah. Sending my little sister out to battle. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? That that, that sort of undermined I'm uh the Star Wars prequels for me. I mean, a lot of things undermine the Star Wars prequels for me. But one of them is that they kept calling Anakin Annie. Oh God! And that's like, that's like, the, that's like you know the name of the person I used to babysit and have to watch My Little Pony with. Right. So. Oh, jeez. But you're talking about the original one, right? Yeah. This was this was this was in like the, this was in like the or this was like eighty. This was like early nineties. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to be like, what? How young is your sister? <laughs> Because I've I've been watching the the new one with my daughter, so. Okay. No, this was this was old school. This was. You know what's funny? I didn't even really like the the original one. I mean, it's like even even trying to go back and watch it with her now, I'm just like. Eh. I mean, it's okay. Nothing wrong. Super with effective. It, but... Jesus, Harney. Going into liquid metal mode there. So. <laughs> He's gonna. For, he's gonna. He's gonna. He's not gonna do the predictable thing and actually try to harm his opponent. He's just gonna. Which is honestly the the hilarious thing about a lot of these battles is that they they just keep kind of just kind of doing their own. Yeah, thing. the enemy AI seems a bit too eager to do status stuff. They do. They do like to do status things a lot, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense. Right, One hundred and sixty-six. Level 10, nice. Bugcatcher Kent is no more. You got me! Yes, I did. Your life is forfeit. <laughs> do they sell Pokeballs back at that Poke Center, or would I, do I have to go to a town for them? Um, you'd probably have to actually go to a town for those. I saw them! I'm sure they're from Team Rocket! Well, if we end up seeing, like, more Pokemon types that we can catch, we can always come back. Oh yeah, Paralyze definitely. You. Why is there? I just noticed on that. It looks like there's like a crater inside a cave, which doesn't make a great deal of sense. No, it really doesn't. It, it kind of makes you wonder how that how that got there, or they thought that that would be a good design idea. Because it wasn't like that in the original. Like you, you got to remember, this is the you know this is a remake of the of the original games. So I mean. Yeah, it didn't look like that in inside the cave. Stalactite fell from the ceiling really hard. <laughs> That's the only thing that could possibly make sense. Level eleven. All right. Anything special about that sand over there? Like, no, not not really. No. 
Now, this is different from the previous areas in that, like, there's random attacks everywhere, not just little specialized yep. bits. Yep. Yep. It's because you're inside of a cave. Which, for some okay. reason, being inside a cave means you're fair game to anything and everything living there. Okay. They're much less orderly in here. They don't stick to the grass. Oh, one shot! To hold the power of psychic type moves. That was awesome. Ooh, a ladder. There are a lot of these things. You are not kidding. Yep. I no, I was not exaggerating. <laughs> there there's a reason that getting swarmed by Zubats is kind of a meme as far as people that play Pokemon go. Well, luckily Owl is powerful enough to just like one shot I everything. Sort of, I sort of like to imagine it's like scanners, like their heads just explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, speaking of exploding heads, I was going to talk about uh, banned episodes of the Pokemon show, wasn't I? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, but banned, like, episodes, plural? There's more than one? Oh yeah, there's a bunch. Awesome. <laughs> there's some of them that, that, got, that got so egregiously banned that they haven't even aired in Japan. Wow. Yeah, they didn't even air there. Um, when you're too disturbing for Japan. <laughs> Well, the, the first one, which is probably the one that everybody knows about, um, it was banned because... Just a, just a second, though. Yeah, sure. What? This guy's, what? Don't sneak up on me! <laughs> Does he say something different if you come at him from the front, I wonder? No. No, he doesn't. Super nerd Jovan would like to battle. Sent out Magnemite. Whoa. I've never seen that one before. Honestly, you could let him see you first, and he'll walk up to you and still say, What? Don't sneak up on me. Maybe he's just got, like, cr like crippling vision problems. That, or Magnemite. he's incredibly paranoid. Magnemite. Let's see if psychic, if confusion does anything. Not very effective. Thundershock! Oh, that's You've gonna hurt. Been... Thunderstruck! <laughs> Thunderstruck! <laughs> <laughs> and that's as much ACDC as my throat can handle for one night. Ow. Hey, that's not bad. That's uh, that's better than a lot of people can do. But anyway, so the episode that I was talking about, um, it was banned because it was causing seizures. Metal sound. De defense harshly fell. Does that mean not just fell, but harshly fell? So like sometimes they'll specify like extra effective status. Yeah. Especially. Um. I. Oh God. I would not recommend trying to use poison on it. Yeah, because it doesn't affect. Oh, doesn't affect him at all. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it wasn't even mere. It wasn't merely not very effective. It was just I not would effective. honestly, I would honestly either either give Logan a try because he's a it's part steel type, which is weak to fighting type, or you could also just you know pull out Corey and whip it to death. Well, that's that's always whip, whoop, supersonic. Oh shit! You're of, confused. Has lots of oh lots of sound based abilities. There are. It's pretty interesting, and there's actually there's actually a couple of Pokemon that learn an ability that pretty much nullifies all of those. Oh, now it's just using tackle. Let's see if I Not very effective, but Corey's powerful enough yeah. to mess it up pretty bad anyway. Let's see. Seated. Harshly fell. Sucked the life out of him. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm sorry. You were saying about the, uh, the the seizure episode. Like, what was it? Was it just like lots of blinking lights or something that happened caused it? Um, it's, okay. To to be specific about what happened, it was it was an episode that was featuring a Pokemon called Porygon. Um, which is, you'll probably run into one of those later, oh, especially if you explore Jade the is corner I'm sorry, Jade is paralyzed now. Oh no, God. The thunder shrug. Hey, Leaf Sheet's helping, though. Look at that. But, okay. So, um, pretty much the gang are with this Pokemon Porygon in cyberspace, and missiles get fired at them. Well, Pikachu blasts the missiles with Thunderbolt, causing a, a bunch of flashing red and blue lights which okay. put over 800 Japanese kids in the hospital with seizures. Wow! Yeah. You say 800? 800. Wow. It was so bad that the show was put on a four-month hiatus and was almost completely canceled. Wow. So that's probably... that That's probably the most... Um, 
Sounds like a, like a legal liability nightmare. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So that almost, like, just killed the show. Yep. It almost killed it completely. <laughs> oh, we got Voltorb up next. Okay, so Voltorb is just straight-up electric. Um, so as long as you don't use one of your flyers, then you're fine. Maybe this time I can- maybe this time I can poison the bastard. You can give it a try. Just, uh, yeah, with, with steel types like Magnemite that you just fought, um, poison doesn't work on it at all. Like, any type oh, of poison move doesn't. This guy is not, so you're still okay with trying to use it on him. He's just regular electric instead of being part steel also. He kind of looks like an angry Pokemon. He does. Charge. Oh no. Charging power. That doesn't sound good. I wonder if he's gonna do what they usually do. Arden! Screech! Nope, that's not what I was expecting him to do. Defense harshly fell. Well, defense fell, but you just boosted it back up again, so you're cool. So I assume that was like the only time the episode ever aired. Uh, yeah, it just aired did they ever the make one... like a? Did they ever make like a like a fixed version without the? No, no, they just canned that episode altogether. Really? Yep. They just figured it was better not not to take the chance. And that one never aired in the U.S. Also. Um, no. No, I mean, it was it was banned in Japan, and that was it. It probably is, at least... Yeah, if you, like, at least at least among people who don't follow Pokemon, that's, I'm sure that, that's gotta be, like, the most famous episode. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, when you, when you start getting into banned Pokemon episodes, that's usually one of the ones that first comes to mind for people. My Pokemon won't do! Well then, get good, Scrub. Yeah. <laughs> I have to find stronger Pokemon. Where might they be? There's another guy. Let's, let's take this guy. Uh, you can actually go go grab either of those Pokeballs on the ground. They're like free items. I, I will. Just like, I just want to take this guy. That's fine. No problem. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. And then he attacks! This is just a, such a horrifically violent society. <laughs> Love catcher Bobby would like to battle. Oh, he's got three. Okay, okay so, are there, so you said there are. There's more than one band episode. Oh, there's a bunch. Yeah. Um, there, there's another one. It's, uh, it's pretty much called the the Shaking Island Battle, and this one didn't air in Japan at all either. It was originally postponed because there were massive earthquakes in the area, and since it features Pokemon making earthquakes, they considered it to be in bad taste. Oh. Yep. It was scheduled for further, or for like future release, but it just never aired. And now that it's come to the U.S. airing, it's just been skipped over again for really no reason. Hmm. Metapod. Metapod with his look of just wide disdain. <laughs> Look on his face is just like, why do I live? <laughs> it hurts to live. And he just tears through the the bow types. Any other abandons? Well, um, the the most recent one that actually got banned, uh, it hasn't been released anywhere, including Japan. Um, it features. It features a meetup and battle of uh, Team Rocket versus a like another organized crime group from one of the other games called Team Plasma. Okay. And it features a lot of earthquakes, destruction of cities, etc. Um, destruction of cities. Yeah. How, how destructive are these these guys? I mean, I thought they said they, like they stole Pokemon and such. Yeah, but that's that's like their thing is they want to take over the world. 
via Pokemon. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so there's like this, yeah, so there's a huge battle, city's being destroyed. So it's like the Man of Steel of Pokemon. <laughs> kind of, kind of. And um, with the time that it was due to air in uh, Japan, it was around March 2011, which was just after the earthquake, the tsunami, and all that other stuff. Okay. So it got postponed there, and then they eventually just kind of retconned it out of the series. And, yeah, nobody's... There, there's like a couple of screen caps from it floating around, but nobody's ever actually seen it. 